Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform repairs safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. As part of the furnace's ignition system, the pressure switch will close once the draft inducer fan motor reaches its maximum speed. This is a safety precaution to ensure that gas will not enter the furnace unless the toxic fumes within the burner assembly can be exhausted. If the draft inducer fan motor does not turn on or runs too slow, the pressure switch will not close, stalling the ignition sequence. A faulty pressure switch may be unable to close, preventing the ignition sequence from continuing. You can use a multimeter to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present in the switch, provided the switch is connected to the furnace and the draft inducer fan motor is running. If there is no electrical continuity, the switch has failed and will need to be replaced. Pressure switches are usually unique to each furnace model. You should enter the full model number of your furnace in our website search bar to find the specific pressure switch you need. Before you replace the switch, first turn off the power to the furnace. We recommend shutting off the gas supply as well. Pressure switches are normally located in the combustion chamber, close to the draft inducer fan motor. To reach it, you will need to uninstall the upper access panel. Disconnect the pressure switch wires, along with the vacuum tube or tubes. Next, unthread the mounting screw or screws to release the old pressure switch from the draft inducer fan motor, housing, or bracket. When installing a new pressure switch, you should confirm that the pressure rating matches the rating found on the original. Ratings will differ depending on your geographic location. Position the new switch on the fan motor, the housing, or the bracket as required. Thread the mounting screw or screws to secure. Attach the vacuum tube or tubes and connect the wires. With the new pressure switch installed, replace the access panel. Turn the gas supply back on, as well as the power and your furnace should be ready for use.